Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter playthrough. This is part 79. In this episode, we have a clear goal ahead of us. For the past couple of episodes, we've done a couple of bonus chapters, and today isn't going to be any different. We have ourselves a ticket that we picked up in the beginning, and that is the Declaw ticket? Decol ticket to the Declaw Islands, or Declaw Archipelago. Uh, I don't really know what this whole area is about, but I know we have a ticket, and I know it's used at the blimp. So the blimp is right ahead of us. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see what the area entails. Now, as for the main story quest, I was told how to do that. I need to go to Brock, uh, who then lets us go ahead and access a different area to Bruno through somewhere near Diglett Cave, I believe is what I was, what I was told. Um, but we're going to do that a little bit later. For now, I want to check out these islands as I am 100% sure that this is new stuff. I was also told that I can grab legendaries um, at the Celadon game corner, and I might do that after this episode because our team... Our team is a Venusaur, alright, with Pearlstorm. That's our entire team. I refuse to believe that anyone else is useful. But we're here with Blaine. Wow, this is the Decalot Islands. It's amazing. The Decalot Islands is like the Orange Archipelago. It consists of many small islands. I feel like I'm going to hate this place and I am going to get lost. Okay, great. Mewtwo? Is something wrong, Mewtwo? What's that? Who is Mewtwo's brother? Mew? Is Mew here? So your brother is here too. What? Rock. I don't know what rock stands for. Let's go, Mewtwo. Wait, wait up. Where are they going? Wait, hold on. I want to go. Also, I want to speak to people. A Sharpedo ate my girlfriend. I, okay, that's not any better. An anchorage ain't my boyfriend. Okay, um, wow. People here have some wild lives. Okay, is this Australia? Is that where we are? I'm going to that house. Martha. Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. It has been too long, Martha. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna stop you right there. I know what you want. You want to see my... 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 No. <laughs> No, okay. I don't know why I thought that that was gonna be Magikarp at the end of that, but that, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm very good. I don't need to see that. What about you? Hi. Hi, speak to me. Aloha. Alola. Ew, are you from the Alola region? Go away. Is that how they get treated? Is that how Alolans get treated here? That's fair. A level 149 Oshawa. In terms of level, that's not bad. That's not a bad level for an Oshawa. How he hasn't evolved, I have no idea, but still. Nidoking Master. One swing from my Nidoking's tail can break a telephone pole. Ready to battle? Sure. I need the specific Pokemon. Do I fight him with a Nidoking? Okay. I don't have a Nidoking, so scrap that battle, I guess, but sure. Level 120 Pat Rat, not as interesting. Dragonite Master. Everyone knows the Dragon type's the best type. I have none other than the Dragonite Master. Are you ready, boy? No. So if I came to this fight with one of my own, oh, never mind. I see a double Mewtwo. Okay, hello. Scrap whatever I was talking about about Dragonites. Who cares? What to Mewtwo? Vanda, this is your final warning. Return my research and free Mewtwo. A warning? Huh? You fell right by trap, Blaine. Trap. Team Radical Rocket. I was told to play a game called um, Radical Red, which I did have a look at, and it looks alright. I might do that in the future. Um, Team Radical Rod it? <laughs> Ro Rocket? Rocket? Oh, speaking is hard. Hmm? Carlos, be careful. You're Carlos? Yes, I am. Hi. You know Team Rocket is no more, right? Obviously. We may share the same name, but our goals and ideals are radically different. Is that where the Radical comes in? I like it. Then why not a different name? You again. That's the Mewtwo from the Orange Archipelago. Hypnosis. I might have forgotten this. I might have forgotten this. Capture it. Flame, you suck. You didn't even, like, say, hey Mewtwo, d dunk on them. You didn't say a single command. Men, kill him. Smoke screen. Who is using... My Venusaur used smoke screen? Interesting, but okay. Um, sure. Oh no, they've escaped. That's not so radical. Team Radical Rocket, 
We're heading back to base. Blaine, who was he? I should have told you earlier. That was Xander. He used to be my assistant while I was still with Team Rocket. Xander has always been interested in my research on revitalizing fossil Pokemon. He showed many promises. Giovanni. Hmm? Don't worry. Anyways, he approached me a few weeks ago. He wanted me to join in on a museum heist to steal the spine fossil. Ah! I rejected him, of course. So that's when he broke into your lab? Correct. But could all this just to set up? Could all this be just to set up, assuming what I'm meant to be reading? So he could get his hands on both Mewtwo? Well, let's get Mewtwo back. Hmm, you're right, Carlos. I used my own genetic materials to make Mewtwo. I can sense where it is. Mmm, ha! Huh? I found them. Mewtwo is on an island just east. An island just east, huh? Well, it looks like we are off on a journey. Martha has moved. We can continue. Hi, Team Rocket. Oh, these are battles. That makes sense. I'll serve an intelligent man like Xander to the very end. Don't be level 255. There have been a lot of people that are level 255. I don't want to see it. 150, okay, we can deal with that. We can fight these people, that's absolutely okay. I'm pretty sure we just Earthquake Nido Queen, even Nido Queen Zero. Pretty sure it was still Poison type. It was, that is super effective, that's nice. Hopefully this does half. Not quite half, that is annoying, but if he's can lower his own defensive superpower, we will be absolutely fine. Uh, you may notice that Venusaur is level 161, when it was level 160 yesterday. That's because I battled a couple of trainers and got us a couple of supplies. We have like five max revives, we have like 20 hyper potions and like 10 ultra balls. Is it enough? Almost certainly not, but every little helps, you know? We didn't exactly have any money, so I sort of took what I could get. Battled a couple of trainers. Most of the trainers are already classified as being battled, because it assumes that you've already battled them all, you know, as this is like after all of the events have happened, so you're technically meant to have battled people before that point, before like Pummelo Island, so yeah, we're we're struggling a little bit with money, but we'll see what we can do. I can crunch this castle though. I thought that was gonna be super effective. Castle is ghost. It is. Castle is a ghost type. That wasn't super effective. Did it use camouflage and I not notice or something? Hold on, I'm gonna hit it with strength. Okay, weird. It might have used camouflage when I wasn't paying attention. Either way, that's fine. Blame body. Blame? Blame body. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Serena, that we can start stacking Heat Rage on with Moltres. You may also notice that my webcam is really, really bright and really looks a little bit different. That's because my webcam software had an update and it completely bopped all of my settings. All of my settings disappeared, which sucks. And it's, you know, it looks fine. It's just, it, it's weird. It's different. It changed on me. I don't know why I didn't keep my settings, but it's fine, I guess. Either way, Heat Rage lands. I don't think it'll one-shot, considering it's like base 60 to start. But the next one, what are you swapping into? You're just stacking my Heat Rage. Porygon X. X? Resisted. But it does half and the next one hits harder. But we miss. Okay, that sucks. The miss sucks. That could have really started going somewhere, but it didn't. Porygon X. Am I right to think that that's a rock Porygon? It looks like a rock Porygon, and it just used lock on so it can't miss its rock type move, and I'm in here with a chicken bird that's gonna get bopped. So I think I'm gonna go into Polyrath. Rock type move? Lock on again. I could have just started stacking my Heat Rage again, to be honest, and then I would have been fine, but I played it safe. So, is it super effective? No. It's also got a Mega Stone symbol, like it's a Mega Evolved Porygon, which is my actual nightmare. No one needs that. Ever. That's, like, the worst news I could hear. Mega Porygon? No thank you. I guess I could deal with Mega Porygon more than Mega Porygon 2, but I still don't want it. Alright, well, we have... We have Hurricane, but I mean, Heat Rage is higher accuracy, and we saw that it did over half before, so we may as well just start stacking Heat Rage again. Maybe the next Pokemon that comes in is neutral to fire and we have like a buffed up heat rage for it. That's best case scenario. We'll see. We'll see. It's 
still, it's nice seeing some of the Gen 7 Pokemon and stuff like that. Even if they are getting bopped by my Moltres right now. But it is kind of nice to see. Get destroyed. The thousand XP and Misteon is the last Pokemon. Was Misteon... The Fairy? I think I can stay in and he rage it. Misteon wasn't the dragon, right? It was the dragon. Okay, alright. Yeah, <laughs> I realized my mistake at the very last moment after I already clicked the move to stay in, so now I'm just stuck into a fire type move against a Misteon. It's not the best case scenario. Maybe Moltres hits it harder than I expect. That's respectable. That's a crit. That's why. Okay, alright. You know, that makes more sense. But still, we get another heat rage off. This time there's no endure. There's a chance. Hey! Never mind. Moltres is actually proving that Heat Rage is just a really good move. It's like twice the base power to start of um, rollout. It's pretty pretty powerful, to be honest. Alright, what about you? Do you battle? Stop moving. I don't care about the Frillish, I just want to battle this map. Lately I've seen guys dressed in Team Rocket clothing walking around Honey Island. That sounds like a, a cute name for a place. You dare to get in the way of Team Radical Rocket? We are far deadlier than Team Rocket. We are radical. They are radical. They have that. They do have that going for them. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's a bad thing. But they are definitely radical. Holly Croak. Is it better to Earthquake or to Petal Storm? Probably Petal Storm, just because Petal Storm's OP. I think that's our plan. We just Petal Storm. It is super effective. I thought it was War Poison for some reason, but I guess I was wrong. Never mind. Petal Storm is absolutely what we want to click. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Was it Water Ground? Maybe it was Water Ground. Water Ground would fit a lot better with the, the thing that just happened. I think it's probably Water Ground. Okay, we'll roll with Water Ground. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense as to where he just disappeared to. And Garbodor we can Earthquake just fine. Uh, I should probably be speeding up these battles until we get to Mewtwo and stuff. I'm mainly doing these because I want money. I'm completely willing to do these battles because we are in dire need of money and, to be honest, XP a little bit as well. I owe Zander my life. He saved me from Giovanni, so I don't care if his ideals are radical. I mean, how radical are we talking? I want to know what his ideals are. Oricorio P. <laughs> Not P. What are we going to do against Oricorio P? <laughs> Mirror move. Ah, okay. I want to zap cannon it. I really do. Also, I can set up the rain dance right now with Thunder. I'm going to set up the rain. You know what? We have this. Why not? We'll set up the rain. And we'll see if Thunder is enough to one-shot. It would be really funny if he now mirror moves Rain Dance and does absolutely nothing but add more rain. Oh, please, add more rain. Damn it, it didn't work. Thunder- Thunder missed in the rain? Interesting. Okay. Pretty sure Thunder goes to like 100% accuracy when it's in the rain, unless this Oricorio has something weird. Maybe this like a bright, maybe it's holding bright powder and bright powder isn't taken into the calculation or something like that. Or I don't know. I don't know. Oricorio B. I'm still going to stay in and try and Thunder. We're going to see the full Oricorio squad get funded right now because I am down for that. Except maybe the yellow one. Because that's obviously an electric type. Mirror move. Failed. Thunder missed. Again. Thunder sucks. <laughs> Thunder actually sucks. Why do I have rain dance then? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Fine. We land the second one. I may as well be going for zap cannons at this point, to be truly honest. But here we are. That's fine. We're going to take it out. We'll, we'll deal with this. We will. We will deal with this. Oricorio, just standard. Is is the red one the standard? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. The rain stopped. It's not like the rain was doing anything anyway. So, I mean, I guess we're just clicking thunder. Mirror move. Failed. Why am I not speeding this up? I don't know. I don't know. Oricorio. Oricorio. Yellow. Rock slide. Cool. Fun fight, maybe? Perhaps? Strange fight. 
What do we have down here? We have a person I can speak to here who might bow. Are you going to swim, kid? The war is fantastic. I, uh... Wasn't, wasn't planning on it. I have Pokemon for that, you know? It's very convenient when you just have a Pokemon to surf on. Much better than swimming. Swimming is uh, for losers, actually. Fun fact. Fun fact. Pokemon is where it's at. No one can get past me. Except me if I just walk behind you rather than clicking on you. But, you know, we'll, we'll ignore it. We Zing. And this is the, like, electric poison one. Did it have Levitate? I don't remember if it had Levitate, so I'm going to click Earthquake to remind myself. Of course it had Levitate. Why wouldn't it have Levitate? It's so weak to that move. Of course it has Levitate. I will go into Moltres and I will Heat Rage. It did just set up a Destiny Bond. This might be a mistake, but I want to start stacking Heat Rage because I want to hit something with like the fifth hit of it. And there goes Moltres, I imagine. Oh, or not. Or not. Never mind. About to send in Dividend? Was that one of the Plusles? Was that... There was like those four plusles. They had, you know, the multiplication plusle and the divide plusle. Is that one of the plusles? It's been so long since I have seen these plusles. Holy. I kinda love them. I do kinda love them. I I do like the, the plusle plans. I like them. Are they stupid and a gimmick? Absolutely, but I do enjoy them. <laughs> Either way, we can have Quake. I'm not particularly afraid of it. And Anchorage is the last Pokemon, which honestly we can just pedal storm and probably be fine against. Smoke screen, but it misses, and Venusaur kinda does everything by itself, because Venusaur is a beast. Nice. Nice. What is this? Rare candy. Again, probably gonna hold down to that and use it as a revive at a certain point. Um, I know I need to get my team to like level 255 before I battle Bruno and Brock and stuff, but that comes much later. Oh, they wanted me to click him from the right. Strange, for sure. The Radical Rocket's goal is to build a radical world where prehistoric Pokémon will rule once again. I like this plan. That literally makes no sense. It, it makes sense. Are you crazy? Prehistoric Pokémon will be able to adapt to this modern environment. They're extinct for a reason. You want to talk? Wasn't it your research that allowed all this to happen? He's got you there. He's, he's got you there, Blaine. You know, he's really got you. Besides, we know that for the revitalization to work, we need to use genetic data from other creatures. Because of this, the prehistoric Pokemon will survive in this modern world. Am I right, Blaine? We've read your research. Your friend's Aerodactyl was revitalized the exact same way. Hi, that's mine. I have one of those. My Aerodactyl, yeah. That's right, you don't. Your Aerodactyl isn't genetically accurate. If it was, it wouldn't look anything like what it does now. A little bit like how Cypher looks an awful lot like Kabutops, if you think about it. I'm done talking. Move out of the way. Wow, Red's, Red's not messing around, huh? Can I use my Aerodactyl in this fight and pop him with the Aerodactyl that he just complained about? Because I want to do that. Scallopede, scary. Okay, alright, no, no, no. We're gonna go into Aerodactyl. And we are gonna just click Rock Slide. It doesn't have speed boost, so this is an inferior Scallopede right here. Scallopede without speed boost, I honestly don't understand why they exist. This is a speed boost Pokemon. That is all it is for. It is there to use speed boost. I'm gonna finish it with Iron Head because it's 100% accurate. What else do you have? Starmie Zero. Which, if I'm remembering correctly, is Fairy. So we just go into this and Pell Storm. Cosmic Power. That's fine. We still do so much damage. Venusaur does not mess around. Okay. Venusaur, chill. Pell Storm, chill. <laughs> Move. He's off. He jumped off of a ledge you can't jump off. What a hacker. I have too many Pokemon on me. Oh. I assume that means that we're getting given a Pokemon. Possibly a Mewtwo? Possibly. For right now though, let's run on back to the Pokemon Center. I think there was a Pokemon Center on this island somewhere. Was there not a Pokemon Center on this island? Is there really not? There really isn't a Pokemon Center? Or am I just really, really, really blind? Am I really, 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 really blind? I don't think there's a Pokemon Center. Meanwhile, my Pokemon, you know, slowly dying to Toxic. It is what it is. Can I get in here now and heal in here? No. 
Do I actually have to go to a different island just to heal? It's kind of troll. Well, looks like we're um, going on a journey to go and drop off a Pokemon. And you know what? While we're doing this, let's go. Let's go to Celadon. Let's go to Celadon. I want to see what that um, because apparently there is legendary Pokemon for like one Pokeyen. Let's go to Celadon and check this out while we're here. I have a reason to come back anyway. Let's heal up so that that noise stops. Uh, there's no point dropping off a Pokemon just yet, because obviously we'll be picking up all Pokemon from the game corner, I believe it was. Um... Welcome to the game corner, do you need game coins? Maybe. Hello, we're finally open, we're exchanging some legendary Pokemon! Okay, this is what we're after. Here for one coin only. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Coins, hold on, hold on. 50 coins. I don't have a coin case. Can I just accept anyway? Wait. I wonder what Pokemon I got. Oh! Is it like a... Hold on, hold on. First we check, first we check if this is real. First we check if this is real. Did I get a Legendary? First and foremost. And do I not get to choose the Legendary? Raikou! Okay! Modest nature. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. With rain dance, calm mind, thunder, and aura sphere. I mean, rain dance, thunder just, just wasn't working for us, you know. But calm mind. I think I'd take that over, over Zapdos, to be honest. Maybe. Four fifty-two. I might. I might take that over Zapdos. Let's go grab more legendaries, as apparently I don't need a coin case and I can just give them an imaginary coin for whatever reason. So I guess we'll just go and spam the button a lot and see what happens. Look, I'm efficiently getting my Pokemon right here. I don't know how many times I want to do this, but... Oh. We don't have any legendary Pokemon left to sell. I knew we should have raised the price. Let's go and see what we've got, huh? Let's go and see what we've got. If there is a... If there's a Marshadow, I'd probably scream, because I love Marshadow. If there's a Latias, I'd be happy, but let's see. We have... Ooh! I see the, the creation tree. Oh, I see a Dialga. I don't... That's not random. That's not- there's no way I got these three back-to-back, -back and the three legendary dogs back-to-back, -back and all three of the creation trip. That's not random, is it? That's a guaranteed thing, it's gotta be. That or I am really, really conveniently lucky that I got all of these in order, and it's like... Alright, we have an Adam and Entei. That's fat. That's- that's- that's huge. That's actually huge. That's huge, 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 huge. An Adam and Entei with Sacred Fire. You already know Moltres is gone. Um, okay. We have a Naive Nature Suicune. I feel like I might keep Polyrath though, to be honest. I do like this Suicune, it has Calm Mind, it could be really good, but... I, I don't know, we'll give it some thought, for sure. We have a Impish Deoxys, which is a horrible nature, because, you know, look at those amazing defense stats we just boosted. Mm-hmm, great. Um, with Zap Cannon, Psycho Boost, Hyper Boom, and Giga Impact. We have a Dialgo with Timid Nature, which honestly isn't even that bad, because all I care about is its special attack. I'll take the extra speed where I can get it. With Earth Power, Aura Sphere, Iron Tail, and Flash Cannon. Just give me a second. That, yep. Okay, alright, that's not a hard decision. Uh, we have Palkia, who is a Sassy Nature, with Earth Power, Aura Sphere, Arc Tail, and Hydro Pump, but we already have a War Type, so I'm not super bothered. We have a Ooxie. Modest Natured Ooxie, also really good, also really good, nice and defensive, has the Levitate, has Amnesia for some boosts, but it's other uh, moveset is trash. We have an Adamant Natured Mesprit, which is bad. <laughs> we have a Relaxed Natured Azelf, which also is kind of bad, so it drops its speed, its speed is good. And then we have a Quiet Natured Giratina, which to be honest, boosting any of its stats up in speed, sure, sure. With Dragon Claw, Earth Power, Aura Sphere, and Shadow Claw. Overall, I think I want this Entei. But... What do I get rid of for this stuff? 
I think we're gonna remove Zapdos for Raikou, and instead of Entei, we are gonna have, or replacing Entei with, we are replacing Entei with maybe Snorlax. Snorlax is really tanky, sure, but it only brings normal typing, realistically. Like, it's tanky, and that's really helpful at the end of the day. But also, I have a calm minding Raikou. Do I really care about being tanky? Bye, Snorlax. Bye. You were great. You did great. But those Pokemon are what are coming with me. For this exact second, though, I'm actually going to put Poliwrath away, just because I don't need six Pokemon in my party. That was an interesting little detour, for sure. Definitely an interesting detour. Let's go back to the cave real quick. That was great. <laughs> that was actually great. I didn't think we would straight up just get given that many legendaries, but here we are. Here we are. Alright. Let us continue back the direction we were going. It's a little bit annoying that we had to go to a completely different Pokemon Center, but also it made me remember that that existed, so I guess it was worth it, realistically. Back to the Decalot Islands we go. So, let's zoom on back. We were at a cave. I have to remember exactly where I just went down this way. Yeah, okay, all right. Don't care about no lily pup. Do not care about any lily pup. We should check TMs. We should check TMs. We do have rock slide. Which Dialga could learn, but mm, it's not the best on Dialga. As for everything else, isn't super important. I have Sacred Fire on Entei. Do I really need anything else? I probably don't need anything else. I think I know where Thunderbolt is as well. I think Thunderbolt's in Mount Moon. So, we can grab that as well. Alright, what's this? Is that a Genesect? Grab the two Mewtwo. Put in the two machines. What's that fossil on top of that? Is that a Helix fossil? It'd better be a Helix fossil. What are you doing, Xander? You mean you don't recognize this machine? It's the fossil revitalization machine. That's right. But it's, um, but it's my improved version. Blaine, it's the blind spot. It's the spine fossil. Oh, words. <gasps> I hate those. Carlos, watch out. Are they like human centipedes? They look like human centipedes. I hate them. But a step closer. Primasect. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of hate it. I kind of hate it. It looks like a really, really... It looks like a head... Oh, a grasshopper with like its head smashed in. They only called it a head hopper, which is not what they are called. <laughs> it looks like a grasshopper with his head smashed in. That's all I see. Are you still water rock like a Kabuta? Or are you gonna be like. You're frail, either way, so it doesn't matter what I click, even if it is resisted. Maybe it's bug. It's probably bug. Probably bug. Considering it has. It's very close to having insect in its name. It's probably bug. There are a lot of them. Primasect is a prehistoric insect Pokemon. Yeah, basically what I got from the name. Um, don't let their small size trick you. They are deadly and powerful. They swarm its prey, stripping the flesh off their victim until there's nothing left but bones. Guess how I created them? By using your machine and the spine fossil. Well, if they're insects... Come out, Magma. That's, that's a good way of doing it. You said they were insects. No matter how powerful they are, all insects are afraid of fire. I don't know. I feel like, you know, if you were to see, like, an Arachnid, you know, I don't think it'd be really care, to be honest. If I had its war bubble ability, it'd probably just shake off the fire. Wouldn't really care. But, you know, you think you've bested me, child? There's a reason why I wanted both Mewtwo. These two Mewtwo will power up the device with full power. Not only will it revitalize the fossil, but also enhance the creation. Sacked. Come out, Genesect. Hi! Hi, everyone! I don't want to battle any of these people. The Pokemon also came from the Spine Fossil. Alright, but what is the thing in the middle? Are we not going to talk about the, the weird Genesect in the middle of the room? Are we just going to ignore that? Okay. Alright. Now there's two Genesect. With bodies. Is that, was that meant to be two? <laughs> Kid, it's time I pay you back for helping me. Alright, Mewtwo. Cool. What level is this Mewtwo? 
I'll take another legendary. I'll take even more legendaries. We have a fat squad of legendaries right now. Download raised its attack. I think that's what I want. Um, I don't even have the Mewtwo. I don't even have a Mewtwo. I guess I'm just gonna immediately go into Entei, hoping that it starts setting up or something, and I can just Sacred Fire and bop it. Self-destruct. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's one thing you can do. I think we live this just fine, though. We should. Right? Maybe? Okay, alright, we do live. Barely, but we live. Means we're on Entei, get a little bit of XP, which is nice. There is now a Mewtwo inside of the dead body. <laughs> this is such a cluster. <laughs> this is definitely not what was intended. <laughs> it's weakened. What should we do? Should we kill it now? Considering I still have a spare spot in my party, I'm assuming if I click no, I get it. So I'm gonna click no. No, it's still a living being, just like you. I think a human as pure as you exists. Perhaps I'll learn a lot traveling with you. What do you say, Carlos? Sure. And it's official. From now on, I am yours to command. Ooh. Do you want to give a nickname? I don't think we need a nickname. <laughs> it's just two dead bodies and a genesect still there. <laughs> you two. You're not angry anymore. Primasect? Ah, get them off me. Get them off me. The Primasect. I'm afraid we can't do anything about it. There were a lot of them. Being insects, I'm sure they'll reproduce very quickly too. That's what happens when a, a human tries to play God. We bring things into this world that shouldn't exist in the first place. Mewtwo and I will return to the gym. Carlos, take the spine boss take the spine fossil back to the museum. I have a real trouble saying spine fossil. Oh. Okay. You were a fool, Xander. Which one? <laughs> Which one was the fool? Huh? Which one was the fool? <laughs> and that brings us back to the start of the islands, where we should now have a Mewtwo, which we do. Timid nature. Med at level 22. Don't know about that one. Um, Timid Nature is really good, though. It has Mimic, Recover, Safeguard, and Aura Sphere, so its moveset is trash. Uh, but it is a Mewtwo. It is a Mewtwo. Do not be surprised if at the start of next episode, I have a full squad of Legendaries. We might genuinely do that. We might run around with a full squad of Legendaries, because I don't get to do it very often, and I will definitely do that. Either way, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you already. Bye.